Hey guys, this is Uli with the Ordnance and Royal Tiger Imports. Folks, uh, look what we have here. We just received a shipment of um, US World War II um, parts kits. So we have Thompson's 1928s, and I'll show you later on how they look, do a detailed um, video of everything. We have the uh, M1A1, we have 1919s, we have 1917s, we have M2s, and we have BARs. Um, 1918A2s. So basically we have the entire US World War II um, machine gun and submachine gun as parts kits and um, it's a very interesting story how they ended up in Ethiopia but that's for a, for a later for a later video. But nevertheless the kits are here and um, we go through them, we grade them. These are two we just pulled out of the boxes, wiped down a little bit. But in general the kits are really really nice original condition and especially the 1928 they have a lot of original bluing on them and um, of course the kits are all torch cut the receivers are torch cut to atf specifications and while i was in ethiopia last year i basically got the blessing from atf how to cut them and uh, make sure that everything is 100 percent correct and we follow all the us and uh, federal law guidelines um, barrels can't come in unfortunately so we had to um, cut them with a, with an angle grinder so we left the barrel remnants over in um, in Ethiopia but uh, you will get everything else you will get the compensator with the front side and um, for the M1A1 you get the front side and we're working actually right now on getting barrels uh, manufactured for us that's 1928 the fin barrel and the um, M1A barrel which is smooth barrel so folks um, be patient with that we have so much around going on here we got so much stuff in which is really really exciting um, again these are original thompson parts kits they have all us markings they're original condition not reworked and these are beautiful beautiful parts kits um, yeah the best is i guess i will show you around i will take the camera go up into all details and then you know you will see for yourself we will put them up this week on our website so uh, like I said, be patient with us. We just received last week also the Carcanos and you know, I did the video on the Carcanos and we're shipping them out um, as fast as we can. They sold very, very well. Folks, get a Carcano while you can for under $200. They will not last long. Anyways, back to the Thompsons. Um, give me a second and I will do the detailed video on the Thompsons. So folks, these are the two Thompson parts kits. Let's go into details. Let's start up here with a compensator. As you can see, it has all the nice markings here on the compensator. And for the H, it's a really nice, nice condition. A lot of original bluing. You have all the markings and the receivers are all, the sections of the receivers are coming all from the same receiver. So um, the parts kits in general should be matching numbers because we didn't, didn't uh, strip them apart. We left them everything together. And as you can see, the, the torch cut, it's about a quarter of an inch um, cut, so it displays the torch of a quarter of an inch material as required by federal law. So you have here the bolt assembly. I think it gives you a good idea how everything looks. We do have 20 round magazines. And we do have um, the 30 round max, all brand new in wrapper. So we have them brand new in wrapper, which is a surcharge, or we have them basically in, in very good to excellent condition. And here, as I mentioned earlier, these are dirty. They just have to be wiped down with steel wool and oil. But you see all the markings, everything is there. The early stock. And let's move now over to the 1928, uh, to the 19, um, the M1A1. Sorry about that. Again here, barrel was cut in front of the front side and right here, basically after the receiver. So there is no barrel, the barrel remnants that was left in Ethiopia. And again, all the markings are visible here. All sections of the receiver are coming from the same receiver, so there is nothing mismatched. Beautiful, like new magazine. So 
So folks, you see these kits are beautiful. And um, again, we will have them this week up on our website for sale. But let me show you also some more details of the um, top side of the receiver so you can see it for yourself. All right, folks, this is Shaw, and I'm going to give you a close-up look of what Uli just showed you. First, we have the M1A1 kit. As you can see, the markings are very clear, and the condition is quite nice considering its age. As you can see, the wood is also in quite nice shape, and you have your 45 M1A1 bolt carrier group with a fixed firing pin, straightforward grip, and of course, a 30 round magazine. And here we have our 1928 A1 Thompson. As you can see, it has the earlier style Lyman rear sight, as well as the clear markings. And as stated previously, these kits are in pretty good shape considering their age. And of course, we have the famous Cuts Compensator. Hey folks, as you've seen the details, so these things are pretty nice. The only thing not there is basically the barrel. And we're working on getting some new barrels manufactured. But again, we've got so much going on, so please give us some time. Sure, we'll be putting up these kits on our website maybe today or tomorrow, so you can check them out. Um, we, are, we have probably different grades available at different pricing. But again, these are all original US World War II manufactured and pre-World War II manufactured parts kits. So this is really, really cool. And what the most important thing is all the parts, the cut-up parts are the same on the same receiver. So there is no uh, mix and match, it's all from the same receiver. And again, there's a um, quarter of an inch cut where the where quarter of an inch was uh, material was displaced. So following the US uh, guidelines, ATF specifications. And um, again, so we have, we have received 1919s, 1917s, M2s, BARs, and they will be also um, featured in, in separate videos. Uh, probably next week we will, we will get to these boxes. We got so much stuff going on. And again, I was in communication with ATF while I was in, in, in Africa and we did the samples. So all the Browning machine guns, basically the box machine guns, the 1919, 1917 M2, uh, we had to remove the right side plate. So basically everything is there except the right side plate, but you get all the attachments, uh, you know, all the small parts from the right side plates. The actual side plates were destroyed in Ethiopia because they're considered the machine gun, but all the other parts, they came in, except of course the barrel, the barrel was destroyed in Ethiopia as well. So very cool stuff and uh, we will have some more videos um, about this subject. And to show what, what else is there to say? Not too much else other than this is a really special batch of parts kits that we've gotten. Uh, as you know, in the past we've gotten Czechoslovakian submachine gun parts kits, Romanian AKM parts kits, and uh, those are also really neat, but this is something very special. Uh, you don't ever really see these Thompson parts kits, let alone 1917, 1919 M2 machine gun parts kits. They're just incredibly rare, and we're really glad to have them stateside. So yeah, it's just like an incredible find, and um, folks, I hope you will enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, and also subscribe to our mailing list. And our mailing list, you can actually win an item. For example, we just raffled off an M1, M1 Garand, and um, there is one lucky winner, which we will have shown in our, in our e-flyers. Anyhow, stay tuned, sign up to win a chance to win some of our cool historical firearms or parts kits. Thank you for watching. God bless and God bless America.